Capitol Bryan's on North Wells Street, where we're going to another cigar dinner. Uh, we're going to come over here, talk to Diana. Diana, uh, tell us a little bit about a cigar dinner. What goes on at one of these? Well, this is a cigar cocktail party All at right. O'Brien's Restaurant on Wells Street. And uh, we have everybody here enjoying the sampling of the different cigars. And when they come in, they, they give us um, their ticket. And then they get a bag of uh, goodies and a uh, drink ticket to turn in for O'Brien's to get a drink. Peter, tell us, uh, do you plan a special menu for this, your appetizers? Yes, we've got everything special. When you have when you have something with Diana, you have to have it special, or you shouldn't have it at all. <laughs> O'Brien's is always lively, but it's never livelier when it's with Diana in the Up Down Tobacco Shop. Now, when you're talking to Diana, you know that they if they if she has a cigar party here, that they you can smoke here all the time. The other day she called me up and said, you know, you've got to go and sit at the bar. You can have a great hamburger, a great bowl of soup, and you can always smoke there. Uh, 1995 is known as the year of the cigar. Uh, we're going to take a quick interview with Peter O'Connor from Tobacconist Magazine. Peter, tell us a little bit about what's going on uh, in 1995 with cigars and what's, you know, in general. Um, well, the industry is going straight up. Uh, in 1992, there were approximately 100, and 100 million cigars, premium cigars, cigars selling for uh, the $5 area being sold in this country. Now it's 150 million cigars. If you multiply that by $5, you get some feel for just how wonderful uh, the industry has been. I understand there's actually a shortage of cigars in the world. Uh, the short, there's a shortage. The shortage will probably last for another two years. There's a lot of sampling going on. Uh, a new, younger demographic is uh, leading the charge, the 25 to 44-year-old guy. Uh, that's about 20 years younger than the historical demographic. And we think that they'll become the frequent users. Uh, the sampling will slow down, but we think the industry will continue to grow. What about restaurants going no smoking? Um, you know, in Chicago, I think what's happening here is that uh, uh, there are an awful lot of uh, establishments that want cigars. They're uh, an affluent crowd. They spend a lot of money. And uh, I think restaurants have to be uh, not thinking if they're not attracting the cigar smoke. Thanks for talking with us. Welcome to Chicago. Thank you.